Well, I call it a pretty average spring afternoon across central Georgia as we take a live look over downtown Macon. Current temperatures in the area a mix of 70s and 80s, still hanging on to 82 here in downtown. The dew points at 57 though, so it doesn't feel quite as sticky as it would during the summertime. 80 down in Cordial, 82 in Unadilla, riding up 75, 80 in Forsyth as well, 82 out in Dublin and 79 in Vidalia. Here's a look at the dew points across the area. Again, a little moisture in the air, but not a whole lot to work with. In fact, the dew point of 49 in Wrightsville, that's actually pretty dry considering that the temperatures are in the 70s and 80s. Nothing to speak of on the radar picture and we're going to be dry through the afternoon and evening hours tonight. You might remember last night that this model was trying to throw a few showers over the area. It's not doing that now. It might try to do that again tomorrow. You see here comes one up Interstate 16. I really don't think we're going to see that. So instead we're going to be looking at warm conditions like we saw today and maybe some morning clouds and fog across the area and then some partly cloudy skies for the afternoon hours. Warming up into the middle 80s once again tomorrow. Made it up to 83 today. I think we get up to 84, 85 tomorrow across the area and then we get into the start of the work and school week and we are going to be looking at really some nice weather for Monday then Tuesday things begin to get a little hairy so this is Monday morning temperatures starting off in the 60s with winds out of the southeast by Monday afternoon and evening we could see one or two showers develop as of now, I don't have a rain chance in the forecast because the front is still way back into Alabama and Mississippi, but certainly once we get into Tuesday, watch this now, we could see a few showers across the area. The GFS a little faster, bringing in some rain for the evening commute on Tuesday. The European keeping that rain back up into metro Atlanta, but regardless, both models have the front falling apart as they come through central Georgia. So whatever we do see will be out of here by Wednesday at about 5 a.m. And then we are dry through the remainder of next work and school week as well. This carries us through on Friday. The GFS trying to put a few showers over the area, but we got some fine tuning on that. This is the first run that has shown that. Now we could use the rainfall. We are in a moderate drought from Vidalia down to Savannah, parts of central Georgia in abnormally dry conditions. So, you know, the dry stretch is not necessarily the best news for us. Not horrendous news, but not the best. 87 for Monday. That puts us in record breaking territory. The record high for Monday is 90 degrees. So three degrees away from that. We'll be watching to see if we get close to that. But for tonight, partly cloudy with isolated areas of fog possible across the area. Sunset is at 8 10 tonight. Yeah, they keep getting later and later and the sunrises keep getting earlier and earlier. Then for tomorrow, a high temperature of about 83 similar to today. That's a few degrees above the average winds out of the south southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunrise our last one at 7 a.m. for a few weeks. Then they drop down to 6 a.m. or in the 6 a.m. hour. There's the seven day. Yeah, warm on Monday, rain chance on Tuesday, and then another warming trend starts on Wednesday. We're back in just a moment.